and hello world welcome back to the nisai show we are back with the fourth episode of the nisai show season two i am may and i will be your host today i am learning ns3 science maths history and igcs a first year language english the nisai show is the design for students of nisai where they can raise their voices share their meaningful stories listen to each other and just be themselves Today, the Nisai Show welcomes our esteemed guest, Nisai Yakman. Nice to meet you. Can you introduce a little about yourself? Hello, Nisaiers, and hello, world. I'm Yakman, but you can also call me Duffy because that's my English name. I'm 10 years old and I'm Vietnamese. I study in Nisai One Science. Okay, thank you, Duffy. Now that we know something about you, what brings you here today with us? I want to share my interest in playing chess and my chess journey with Nisai. Wow, that's amazing. It's very interesting. So I'm sure the listeners can't wait to hear. So for your chess journey, what initially sparked your interest in chess in general? Well, I began playing chess and having lessons since I was in kindergarten. Actually, my, my mom is the one who signed me up for that class. At first, I didn't want to play chess. It was kind of like boring and I was too, I wanted to play with my mates. But after that, and I started playing in competitions, I realized how much fun it is. So I started, you know, like practicing chess practically every day. I think everyone, when they first start in chess, they think, it's just like an old sport and it's quite boring. I never got into it, but when I was in grade one, it is a required subject for us to take chess as in school. So it is very interesting. I really like chess. So do you usually play chess physically or online? I usually play chess online because one of my friends or, you know, like we could players let me, so I don't really like playing chess with them and wins all the packs. So I just go to the app chess.com and then started playing with everyone else. Yeah, it could get boring if you win every time, but maybe yeah. you can be a strong opponent for your friends to practice with, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So who is your favorite chess player or are there any inspirations? My inspiration is the number one player currently, the number one player in the world is Magnus Carlsen. Do you know him? Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm not into like chess chess, but I do watch some of his videos and he could win a game in like six seconds or something. So. Yeah, so it's that's really cool. interesting to watch him play. Yeah, and he analyzes movies that have chess in it and he teaches people, so it's cool. So how has playing chess as a hobby impacted other areas of your life, like socializing and your studies and everything? When I play in chess tournaments, there is other people who have the same interests as me, so I can just you know, like my fr- be friends with them and learn from their tactics and their moves. Also, chess helps me to concentrate on class because it trained me to be a peace and calm student. Right. I think you can be very patient when it comes to chess or you could expect the things that are unexpected. Like you could lose a lot of your plays but till the end you you could win like it's like a twist and turn very cool yeah that is surprising right how do you manage your time effectively between your coursework your extracurricular activities and practicing chess usually between my classes there's some free time i when in that free time i usually play chess or do other hobbies right um and i think studying online would help you have more time playing chess too, right? Uh, Yeah, I don't need to travel between classes, so there's time for chess matches. And in Nisa, is there any friends that you play chess with? Uh, Yeah, in my class, there's a friend who is small and he also plays chess.com with me. So now I 
usually chatted with him about the chess world and interesting facts about chess. Yeah, I think、uh, you should have someone to listen or something one to talk with. That's very fun. How did you balance your academic responsibilities with your hobby of playing chess? Usually, I have a timetable which I create it every week. I create every I will I will create my schedule every week, and then on the weekends, I'm practically free. So I still study a lot, but on the nights, I usually play chess with my friends or my parents. They are both know to play chess, and they're really good. I think I should make a schedule for myself because. My schedule is quite. I don't know. It's unexpected. I, like I don't know what to do in certain times. So a schedule would really help. So after joining Nisai, what changed? After joining Nisai, I started to realize that chess has a funny side of it because on in the chill out zone there's a chess club and I usually go in there. I see a lot of posts that's really funny about chess and chess remotes. Yeah, I see there. The chill out zone is very fun, and I sometimes go there too to basically talk with other people that have the same interest. Do you take part in any extracurricular activities in this time? Do you know the public speaking club and the debate club? And it's really fun. Right. So, how does it relate to? You playing chess, you know, talk to your opponents of playing chess with your debate skills. Maybe you could be better at that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when I talk about my tactics and moves and stuff, my debate skills and my public speaking skills can, you know, like help me to influence them more. Yeah. What is the public speaking club, and how does it work? So the public speaking club it's on every Friday, but they are divided into two groups. I'm in group one, and we have meetings every two weeks. And the, each week, the teacher posts an assignment for us, and then we have to create a presentation and then upload it onto the Microsoft Teams, and then we can practice it until. The night for public speaking club, and then we can present it to all the students. Right. I think public speaking to me is talking to a large crowd. I think you could gain your confidence by joining、yeah. activity, right? Yeah. And how is everyone in the club? How do they communicate? So they are very good. Actually, at first I thought I'm really good at English, but after. Hearing and seeing others' presentations, I was just like surprised because、yeah. the, the level of English and the fluency in speaking and the confidence. Right. I think we can always have a person we could learn from from the club. How do you contribute to the club? So practically, I give everyone feedbacks on the Zoom chat, and then we. What kind of comments on other presentations for the feedbacks, and that really contributed to the atmosphere of the club. Yeah, I think everyone will appreciate your feedback because when you finish presenting, you want to hear people' opinions, right? You know,、yeah. do you do good? Do you do bad? Right. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward, how do you, how do you envision your future with chess and? What are your goals?、Uh, in the future, I don't want to take chess as a professional career or something because I know I don't have any talents for it. I just、oh, want、know. to make us at a hobby,、yeah. and then you know, like develop in all the fields, like math. Yeah, I think the people I know, they they love chess and they are also very good at math. Personally, I am not good at math. So I'm not sure if I'm good at chess either. I, I like math. It's really complicating, like a chess match. I think learning math in this side would also help you with your chess skills. So you need to calculate. 
Yeah, I, I think know, maybe, but you know what? Maybe you will have a chance to be the next Magnus Carlson. Yeah, that's really really hard. I've tried mm-hmm. bots, and they're kind of like supercomputers. You will have a chance, you know. Like, you know, whatever comes will come. You never know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. I just get a certain burst of progress, and then I just like got to the grandmaster level, and we yeah. are pushing up. I don't know. You never know. So, reflecting on your chess journey so far, what advice would you give to neutral chess players or those just starting out? So, my advice is that just be, you know, productive, play hard, study hard, and then just like take it as a relaxation. It doesn't take it as, you know, a stress because that will help you to perform better in matches and also chess is a really good game so everyone should try to do it more often yeah i think even for professional players when they're in a game i think they also have a really relaxed mindset they don't yeah. think about it too much and you know they just calculate it very um, precisely yeah mm-hmm. so Thank you, Duffy, for sharing your story with us. We are excited to learn that you have had an amazing plan for the future. We wish you the best. Thank Bye. you, Duffy, for coming to the show. We will see you around. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I am May, and this is the end of today's episode with the Nisa Show. We will be back soon with a brand new story to share. 